Hi, everyone. I'm here to give you a quick demo of the core IOCell features, which includes um, IOCell Channel Manager, uh, IOCell PMS, and IOCell Booking Engine. In this video, we're going to have a quick snapshot of these features, which can help any small, medium-sized hotel be successful when it comes to running their hotel and selling their hotel um, in all online channels. So the first product we look at is the channel manager. So in the channel management, uh, in the channel manager, the first screen we look at is a is an update page. This is a standard uh, screen where you have all dates uh, uh, on the y-axis. You have all room types and all rate plans here on the x-axis. You can try to enter any rate that you want and for any of the dates. And if you hit publish, these rates will automatically get pushed to all OTA channels, including Booking.com, Make My Trip, uh, Expedia. Google, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, we also have, uh, IOCell also have a dynamic pricing and RMS product. So these rates can be automated. There is a separate video for that. So I'm not going to discuss that here. But in case one chooses to go with those products, these buttons can be turned on and automatically the automated rates can be determined by IOCell. However, for a simple channel management product, the, the rates can be decided by the customer and entered from here. Similarly, there is update rooms. In update rooms, uh, the, the inventory for each room type can be updated here and entered. In case the user wants to do bulk update, the bulk update in given time period, the bulk update of rates, any uh, minimum rates or any restrictions can also be updated from this particular screen. Any, if you want to do a top sell or if you want to do a minimum stay, those can be updated from within the screen. The last screen for uh, channel manager is the live booking screen. This basically gives a listing of all bookings that have been generated from all online channels. So here you can see whether it's all OTAs or booking.com. Each booking will appear here. If you enter the booking details, you can even see the commission that is charged by each of the OTAs and the amount that needs to be paid by the customer, the hotel, and extra charges that can help you manage all your OTAs. So this summarizes the channel management product. The next product we're going to look at is the booking engine product. A booking engine is a direct channel through which a hotel can get bookings on its own website. The ability to create simple template. Here is an example of a hotel that has a simple templated website. And this website can be created by IOCell at the, at the drop of a, at the click of a button. You have all uh, basic facilities, the basic features of a website and a book now button. When you click the book now button, you reach the booking engine. The booking engine here has the same rates that are displayed across all the OTAs. You also have the ability to enter these rates to be slightly lower than the OTA rates so that you can get more conversion. In each of these, all the rate plans are visible and the customer can go on and complete their booking on the IOCell booking engine. The last product we're going to look at is a quick overview of the PMS. Uh, the PMS, as you know, is a property management system. It is what is used to operate a hotel successfully. Our PMS has many other add-on features that I will not discuss about or I will discuss at the end of the video. But here is a quick overview of what a PMS looks like. Here, all the bookings that come automatically get lodged into room numbers. All the room numbers that are there in the hotel are mentioned here. All the bookings that come from OTAs get lodged here. They can be assigned to each room. They can be checked in or checked out. You can go and edit those bookings. You can see the invoices. You can generate those invoices. You can add any additional services. You mean like any uh, mini bar or room service or any extra uh, items that the person orders. You can add payments. So any payments that are captured can be can be uh, mentioned here and you can check in and check out the particular. So this is a quick overview of what you can do. The PMS can have a room view option also. So here, if you don't want to look at the room numbers, if you want to look at all the room numbers in this way, this is only visible for one date. The stay view is visible for the forward uh, seven days. All the reservations that are made into the PMS are shown here in the reservations tab. You can create a reservation. Uh, so here you have all the options that are required to make a including the rates, including the guest details. You can upload the guest IDs, so on and so forth. Uh, you have the ability to make complimentary rooms, out of order rooms, and group. These are all functionality of the PMS. Uh, the next feature is the guests. So all, the book, all guests that stay in your hotel automatically get recorded in the guest database. The guest database is a list of all existing guests that have stayed in the hotel. And each one of those guests have their details, like their phone number, their email ID, and the value that they've given along with their photo ID. So at any time you want to look at the database of all the guests that have stayed, you can look through here. The next feature is companies. Any features that any company that has made bookings on your hotel will all feature here. If you have bill to payment or bill to company or outstanding, you can in here. You can look at the details of those. In 
uh, or you can also have the functionality. The city ledger functionality actually helps you uh, track any payment from the from the particular. Uh, so here you can see all the bookings that have come from the company. Uh, you can have a city ledger which can help you track the payments coming in. The last feature that I'm going to demo to you is a uh, point uh, the report section. In our PM in our PMS, we have several reports that are mentioned. I'm not going to go over each of the reports, but here you have all day-to-day -day reports like arrival report, departure report, night audit report, police inquiry, management block, out of order report, no show, room status, reviews tracking, uh, and then you have many accounting reports. So you have an accounting report that you can send to your accountant. You have item consumption, payments, point of sale, so on, expenses, so on and so forth. You have some management reports like the sales, company performance report, and if you operate in groups, you have some group related reports. So this is a very quick and easy summary of our entire core product of the ISL system. We have certain add-ons to our PMS. We have the point of sale system, which we have a separate video on on our website. You can go and see that. We have a stores and inventory management system for which we also have a separate video. We have a maintenance module. We have a CRM and lease generation module, as well as we have an HR and a payroll processing module also. Thank you so much for listening. Hope this covers the basic uh, uh, overview of the ISL channel map. The booking engine as well as the ISL PMS. Thank you for watching and please get in touch with us for any questions.